Welcome back to my channel, Rise Against the Machine. I know I've been away for a while, but got a couple of packs of cards that I wanted to open up for you guys, show you what those look like in case you're thinking about buying some. I moved from Louisiana to Florida, so it's been pretty hectic. That's why I haven't been on in a really long time. I want to really get back to all the little hobbies and fun things that I was doing on my channel, so we'll see if I can keep it up. It's been a little difficult, but let's go. So first one I got is the Bowman U Chrome. There's four cards in here for eight bucks. I think this one, from all my research, looks like a great steal for the price. You can get some really good cards. There's some cards going for some high dollar that are coming from these packs as well. So hopefully we can get something pretty cool out of this. I seen this in the store, did not know what it was, but after looking it up, I was very interested. I am into a lot of different sports, uh, a lot of different just things in general. As you can tell by my YouTube channel, you know, I do metal detecting and I do photography, I do cocktails, I do card pack openings. So I get into a lot of things. These cards have a just wide variety of sports, media personalities. Um, there's even playing cards in here, which I think is pretty cool. You can get an entire set of playing cards uh, by opening these, which I'm sure is very hard to get. I hear that the aces uh, are like 300 to one in a pack, but there's some really cool stuff in here. And what really caught my eye was legendary ship relics. Don't know what that is. I still don't know what that is. I haven't looked that up yet, so that'd be cool. And then I got a couple of Contenders 22 first off the line, $35 a pack. I thought these were reasonably priced from everything that I've seen, as you can see here. Let's see. Oop, I got 2021 pulled up. Let me pull up 2022 here. And this is just a random website, but if you look at 2022, Panini, first off the line, $529.95 a pack. Looks like they were $590. They've gone down a little bit. Other websites I've seen for about the same price. But considering the hobby shop that I found here in Florida, where I moved to, sells them for $35 a pack. I bought a couple more than I should have this time around, uh, but I'll probably stop by once a week or so and grab another pack. And I like that they do it by the pack there because if I get a nice hit, I won't buy out that box anymore. Let somebody else empty that box out. So I haven't seen shops that, you know, when I was started getting into collecting in like 09, 2010, they did that a lot. But you don't see that as often anymore. So I'm glad the shop does that. And the good thing about it, too, is they have it in the glass case. It's not just in the back and you pick your own card. I like that because it's still random. People can't feel up the cards and see if there's any tricks or if one feels thicker than the other one. Stuff like that. So they're just in the pack in the glass case and they grab them for you. So let's get started with the Bowman Chrome. So these are some of the... These are all collegiate. I think last year they were not sponsored or they couldn't use the collegiate logos and stuff like that but this year they can correct me if i'm wrong it's good we're starting off with a bryce young but it's just a base isaac rex and it, there you go you got the first bowman insignia on that one jackson dart first bowman jordan Addison, first Bowman. I don't think we're going to have any hits in this one. This one's just going to be a regular pack because I think the, the hit is usually like the second card or so. Will Shipley and Dallas Turner. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was fun. All right. Let's see what's in these good one packs. Let's try to cut it without messing up the cards inside. This blade sucks. Let's see. That's the best way to do this. There we go. Alright, let's see what we get out of this weird pack. I think I'll be buying more of these too, because I don't know. I just find these would be fun. Well, and the first one I get, Brian Whitney. Who the hell is that? Is he a bar stool guy? Let's see. Oh, NHL defenseman. Wow, okay, I don't know a lot about hockey. 
when he's a former NHL defensive man who played in the league for nine seasons. Okay. Tiger Woods. I did see where they have uh, Michael Jordan autos in here, which would be obviously pretty awesome. What's this? Jalen Green. All right. That's not bad. Another base. Oh, looks like we got some color back there. Ah, uh, it looks like one of the playing cards. That's neat. Kamala Harris. Eh. Eh, the only one. Eh. Politicians. I'd rather not see politicians in there, but oh well. And we got a three. Raff Raff. How about that old Raff Raff? Old long neck. All right. Got a playing card. I like that. All right. Let's move on to the 2022 contenders. First off the line. This is the first time I ever bought a first off the line. I've never had them. They're way too expensive for me. But since I can buy them per pack, I'm going to try every couple of weeks or so. Spend 35 bucks. I got that kind of kind of dough. Season ticket, season ticket, season ticket. Did they mix the first off the line with the regulars? It's garbage. Got an Alec P Pierce rookie card. Yeah, we'll put you over there, Mr. Rookie. Come on, let's get a good auto out of here. Speaking of, can you tell if it's a first off the line from the pack itself? I don't know. Somebody answer that question for me. Got a Rashad Bateman. Got an Alvin Kamara. Got a Saint. Okay, I'll take it. David Montgomery. Tua. And season ticket. And season ticket. And we got a... I can't even read it. Oh, Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson. What the hell? This cannot be first off the line. Right? There better be something amazing in here. No parallels, nothing yet in two packs? What's that back there? Uh, got a Brady. Got a Jamar Chase. Got a Keenan Allen. Got a Cortland Sutton. Got a DK Metcalf. This this can't be first off. What, what, what the hell is going on? I think I just got scammed. Did I get scammed? The shit. DJ Moore. Austin Eckler. Russell Wilson. Damian Harris. Michael Pittman. And the Gladiators. Alright, I think I got robbed. <laughs> What's good? Is it? Somebody held me up. What is this ridiculousness for $35? Somebody help me out. Somebody who knows what they're talking about, help me out. Well, I'll be back with some more cards. I'll talk to the card shop about this, see if I'm wrong or not. I don't know. I'll look it up too and see. Not sure. They said it's first off the line. There was the little foil sticker on the front of the box. But I guess maybe first off the line, 2022 contenders, you can get all base for $35. Going back to Dave and Buster's. Seems like I can get more value there. Till next time.